Disappearing wildflowers. Metal leaf bellflower. This was collected in Kilkenny many years ago and grown on in Monica's private garden. We collected the seeds from Monica and grew it on here in our gene bank. And today, three years after sowing the seed, the plants have now produced a massive quantity of seeds. And we're going to disseminate these to well over a hundred Irish gardens from Blarney Castle to Glenvey, from the National Botanic Gardens to Kilrudgery House. There's many, many people involved in this campaign to save endangered Irish species. The World Health Organization and the World Food and Agriculture Organization and the EU are now funding the Irish government to look after medical and food plants that are endangered, rare or protected or red data species. That means that a lot of other plants will be forgotten completely, get no funding and have no budget allocated to their conservation and preservation. So we're going to do it. And this is the very first day you're looking at the very first video of the plant being harvested. We're keeping the stems cut nice and long here so that the seed has a bit of energy from the plant to ripen. This is a two square metre bed. That's all we're asking people to grow. Two square metres. Doesn't take long. I think we weeded the bed three or four times in the entire year. As you can see, there's a few weeds in it. We've grown this bed for two years from plugs that were grown, started three years ago. So in three years, you should have enough plants to give to your own friends and to plant around your estate. The nettle leaf bellflower will actually grow in semi-shade, which makes it a very useful woodland plant. It's growing in full sun here. But uh, one of the reasons we think this plant went extinct is because it's so pretty that people would have picked it in the wild just to bring home as bunches. And it would have grown on in the hedgerows where people had access to it. And as it has no medical use or recorded medical use, it was probably just because it was picked out of the wild that it's gone extinct.